Good afternoon. Good afternoon, everyone. Now we are learning about the name Enosh, the son of Seth. We are learning about the hidden meaning of Enosh. According to the Hebrew dictionary, Enosh means man, mortal, or sickly. Why? Uh, this kind of negative meaning uh, is uh, studied. Okay. Uh, the pious, pious father, Seth. Okay, the set the pious father seemed to realize the feebleness of human life, or perhaps he became conscious of the informed state of human life or his son's physical condition. So he might possibly gave the name Enosh, man, mortals, sickly. According to first scholar or Gesenius. Father's awareness of such physical weakness of his son seemed motivated him to bring his son Enosh nearer to God. If Enosh was weak since childhood, uh, I may guess in this way. Why father called his name Enosh, okay, meaning sickly, weak, or this kind of negative meaning of name should be given to a child? Well, no way, I, I, I would not agree with that view. The understanding of the meaning of Enosh comes from diverse guesswork. But the meaning man, mortal, or sickly, yeah, it is very uh, negative interpretation. So, however, I must introduce number one. Generally, Enosh had been interpreted as weak, frail, mortal man, but they are from poor etymological guesses. Okay, we must understand this. They are from poor etymological guesses without firm ground, without firm the proofs without firm proofs they just guess it's a product of free guess of scholars okay second now i am happy to introduce the second view it's a newly view the name enos might have taken from arabic word meaning anas arabic word anas meaning to be sociable okay in arabic language anas means to be sociable or sociable man or sociable character or sociable creature not only in civil affair but also in religious uh, things so we wish to be sociable it has positive meaning Those sociable creature with this very positive meaning okay therefore this writer attempt to interpret according to ancient hebrew letters so enosh the hebrew alphabet enosh i uh, change into uh, hebrew alphabet picture ancient hebrew alphabet according to ancient hebrew alphabet aleph okay aleph first alphabet aleph it shows oxen. The nuance of oxen is strong and strength like ox. Oxen. The symbol meaning ox Aleph is a chief of community or military commander. That's the meaning of Aleph. So Aleph 1000, okay? It means there is a strong leader. He can command over 1000 soldiers. Very strong meaning, very good meaning. We can imagine from this Aleph Oxhead. And second, also, Noon. I can picture the fast moving, fast moving tadpole, fast moving fish, whatever. It has uh, active meaning. 
So the interpretation of this meaning nun, actively moving thing, actively moving, diligent man, hardworking man, okay? Uh, alive one, active one, this is the nuance. Okay, third consonant, vav, that's the shape of uh, ten pack. Ten pack. It should be uh, made the longer one. Ten pack. Or big nail. Vowel meaning the function of nail. Ten pack is to connect from the ten pack to ten pole. So the meaning, tie, vowel meaning tie form both things to pitch of a ten. Another meaning, support. Okay, this tent bag support the tent, so the tent may stand for. Okay, How about shin. Picture that the shin is a woman breast. Many scholars interpret as woman breast. Woman breast means it depends on the situation. Mother. It may mean your wife. Okay, generally speaking, woman. Attempt to interpret the name Enosh, number one. Alep should be, should mean strong leader, like Ox. And the Nun, active moving, energetic one. Then three, Vav, supportive. Okay. Final consonant, Shin, woman, mother or sister. You may imagine every good things from the word, from the name Enosh. Okay, second, the concept Enosh should be the strong and active leader who supports the life of women in a family, in a community. So it is far from the sickly, far from mortal, far from weak. Okay, I wish to follow this picture letter describes. Okay, three. His chamber, I oh know, sorry, his character is uh, gentle. His character is gentle like woman. Okay, this is another interpretation. His character is gentle like a woman. But he commands a strong leadership. He exercises a strong leadership like an ox. That's the meaning of Aleph. The Nun, active, he's very active and diligent, like Ted Paul. Now, we are sure that these picture letters, four picture letters, uh, provide us every active meaning, every good meaning of the name of Enosh. You know, Enosh, in the time of Enosh, people began to call the name of God. It means, uh, call the name of God means, the, it's, it's a describing of Old Testament uh, for public worship. Public worship. So, uh, I might say, this from the time of Enosh, okay, under, the, under his strong leadership, and the godly leadership, people made a community of worship God. So, this is the understanding of his name. Very good. The Enosh, name of Enosh has blessed meaning. As the description of his role as a leader, worship leader. So, we may imagine he was a leader, military leader, and he was a a worship leader as a priest. Okay, considering the depicted meaning of pictures, the nuance of Enosh is closer to Arabic meaning of Anas, Anas, who is sociable, supportive for others. It's Anas means active both in the family life and worshiping activities. Therefore, I assume two probable ways of nuance of Enosh. Number one, okay, Enosh was born as a physically weak one, probably. So parents began to pray for him more so that he may become strong and active one like ox. 
It is probable guess. Okay, two. You know she was born as a strong one like ox, an active one like a fish or tadpole. However, his character is gentle and supportive like woman. At last, you know she was introduced in the Bible as the first ideal leader, ideal seed, ideal chief or priest in godly line of set. Set family group for the first time as a, a worship leader. Okay, do you see the photo of Jesus? Jesus was very, um, Jesus was very tender. He provided motherly care. The second picture is King Solomon. King Solomon uh, is different from father. Father, the image of father was warrior, fighter, military general, but the uh, image of King Solomon, he was very wise, okay? God gave him the special wisdom to study more, to govern all the people. So he wrote many books. So you see the, in this photo, Queen of Sheba heard his news and then visited King Solomon. He used to get uh, learning. He used to get wisdom from King Solomon. So uh, these two different character, okay, is very close to the character of Enosh. Okay, now we are going to end this class. Let us review ancient Hebrew alphabet. Do you see? Okay. From it is reading from left to right. Okay. Repeat after me. Aleph, Oxe. You see Oxe. Aleph, Bet, Gimel, Dalet, Hey, Vav. Okay, Zion. Okay, Zion. This is a handy knife or sword. Hat, Tet. Tet is the basket. Yod, Amen, and Kaf, Palm. Lamed, shepherd, staff, lamed, and the mem, mem, water. Mem, okay, today is Hebrew, water is called maim. Maim, water comes from mem, okay? They are the same. Nun, fast moving, and samek, thorn bush, and ayin, human eye. Verbal meaning is to see and perceive. And prepare okay pay shape of mouth and chade there's a, a picture of moving animal picture of blooming flower picture of grass growing under the sunshine uh, it the interpretation of this chade uh, diverse uh, if a hunter if it is applied to hunter he's reading footprints and tracing after the animal. So that's the meaning of hunting. Okay, cough. What do you imagine from the letter cough? Hor horizontal line, there's a sun. It's sunset, picture of sunset or picture of sunrise. Okay, time of sunset and sunrise according to the Old Testament. Sunset and time of sunset, sunrise, that's a daily sacrifice. It's a worship hour. Prayer time. Okay. That's the way of interpretation. Okay. Resh, what do you imagine? That's a human head. Today's Hebrew, human head called Rosh. Rosh, Resh, okay, they are the same. Shin, Sin, again, Tav. Okay, Tav, cross mark. Okay. Let's call it a day. This is the end of our class today. God bless you. I want to bless you in the name of Jesus. Shalom. Heavenly peace be on you. Shalom. Much peace. Shalom. Shalom. And see you again. See you again. Later on in Hebrew. See you again. Later on.